Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about a new technology that's not on a lot of farms yet, but we are doing it in our operation. It is variable variety planting. Well, when we think about really almost any field out there, there's some variance in different soil types or topography where you've got hills and valleys, this kind of thing. And underneath the soil, I mean, there's a lot of factors going on, whether it's drainage, whether it's soil type, whether it's uh, different diseases that may be prevalent in certain areas of the field. So to think that one soybean variety or one corn hybrid is going to be the ideal one, the best one possible for the top of the hill and for the valley, for the poorly drained ground and the well-drained ground, for the ground with lots of disease issues and the ground with no disease issues. You're just dreaming if you think that one variety would be the best for every spot. So it makes all the sense in the world to think, what if I could plant a different variety here and a different variety there or a different hybrid here and a different hybrid there, it just makes lots of sense that it's going to maximize yields. Yes, it really does. And so the technology we added on our farm over a year ago was we've got a drill, we got it from Case IH, and we're able to, with a three compartment air cart we pull behind this drill, we can change varieties on the go when we're planting soybeans or wheat. We've done it just a little bit with corn, didn't turn out too well because planting corn with a drill isn't the best thing. But Gee, we who would have guessed that? <laughs> yeah, I know. But we are working on an experimental planter this year, and I think we're going to get everything set. So I'm hoping we're go going to be able to plant corn as we cross the field and change varieties on the go there. Because like to Darren's point, we'd like to have this great racehorse hybrid in our really good ground. But when we switch to our sand, which we have some sandy spots and fields, I want to switch to a drought tolerant hybrid at a very low population. I want to be able to change all that on the go automatically. I can pre-program it in. It's very simple to pre-program the information in. It's just we need the technology to be able to change that variety on the go. All right, so for equipment companies, for seed companies, and for farmers, the question is really, how much is this going to pay me back? Because I'm going to have to invest right. in all the new equipment and control systems to be able to do this. And for a farmer, it's going to take a little bit of time and planning to say, okay, here's where that zone is. Now, which variety or hybrid is going to be the best for that zone? And so it's just going to take a lot of work and expense to be able to do this. No, it's not. With this drill that we got, it was an extra thousand bucks to make it do variable variety. That's it. We already had all the controllers, everything else. We just had to have separate tubes so we could right, come out of each a, one of those air carts. But that's a drill. We don't have yep. a corn planter that way yet with this Yeah, kind but of with technology. a corn planter, all I'm going to have to have is an extra box there. With us, what we're setting up is precision planting equipment on our planter. So we're going to do that. We're going to have a little expense there and an extra box on each row of our 24 row planter. So grand total, let's, let's call it ten thousand dollars okay if it's a ten thousand dollar change when we plant 2,700 acres on our farm, do you really not think that's going to pay over a period of time? Absolutely it is. I'd be shocked if it didn't pay, you know, on the first 100 acres we do. Yeah, a lot of the early data that's come out, there are universities like South Dakota State University is one that are doing research on this and have been doing research on this for a couple of years at least. And we're seeing yield gains in the 5 to 20 percent range, depending on where they're at and how much variability there is on farms. And that's a big thing. If you've got just slight variability, most of the farm's pretty similar. Uh, you're probably not going to get this huge right. jump, but like for us, you were talking about it right there, Brian. We've got really heavy ground and sandy veins in the same field. Okay, that's going to be a big difference. Let's for talk us. more on that ROI. I want to come back to you said five percent to twenty percent. Let's say I only gained two percent. If I've got five hundred dollar an acre gross times two percent, that's ten bucks an acre. If I had even a thousand acres, ten times a thousand is ten thousand dollars in one year. Okay, and I just said on our planter to switch things over, it's probably going to cost us $10,000. That's a one-year payback on 1,000 acres if I only got a 2% yield gain, and we're talking 5 to 20% yield gain. So there is a lot of potential, and you can see why there's many companies in agriculture that are getting excited about developing equipment and analyzing hybrids and varieties so we know how to make great recommendations for farmers to improve their yields. Well, another important thing, if any farmer wants to improve his yield, is controlling our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 